Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, potassium iodide. Let's see where these elements are on the periodic table, and then we'll take it from there. So first off, I got potassium. I scanned the periodic table, and potassium is right over here. It's represented by the letter K. And any element in group 1 always has a plus 1 charge, and they're all metals excluding hydrogen. Hydrogen is a nonmetal, so that's why this is an ionic compound, because I have the metal, potassium, and it has a plus one charge. Next up, I see I have iodide. I see I have an ID ending. Chances are it did come from a nonmetal. So this had to be iodine, right? And if I scan the periodic table, iodine is down here. Iodine is represented by just the letter I, right? And it's in the halogen group. Halogens have a negative one oxidation trend. So I'm just gonna write I and then it has a negative one charge. Now I have both elements, I have both charges, so I'm ready to rock and roll. All we gotta do is just crisscross these to find out how many of each I need. This plus one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one iodide, and this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one potassium. When you do this little crisscross trick, you don't really care about the positives and the negatives, just the actual number. So now we're ready to go. So I have potassium, I only need one of them, so I don't have to write this one. I just keep moving on. And then I have iodine. That's also a one, so I don't really have to write it. So that means we're done, guys, right? So that's pretty cool. So here, potassium iodide is just Ki. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? I'll see you guys all in the next lesson, and I hope you have a great, great day. All right, let's keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you. See you later. Bye-bye.